Hello there, YouTube. That's some bright sun. Welcome to a 29 degree December 26th of 2019. She's a cold one out here. With that sun beaming out there, ought to, ought to warm things up pretty quick. Get this fog to burn off. So, in case I don't get a chance, because there's so many of them, thank all you guys for the, for the Merry Christmas wishes over the last couple of days you guys are some kind of awesome sparky out there all by himself the girls must be out roaming all right so. two more days of the week weekend all that craziness of christmas and it just boop, oh yeah. <laughs> i know it all that build up and then, yeah and it all goes away real quick I know. right mama Sit on down. All right, sounds good. All right. All right. Man, it's like a daily thing through this, going through Carroll's Bluff here that I catch a train. Not that I'm complaining at all, because literally like a half a mile ago, we put, ooh, that, that had to be a traffic snafu. It's probably ice out here this morning. Oh, yeah. Big old smash them, bash them. But yeah, we just popped right out of the craziest fog bank thing. Well there, little woman. Yes, it's another day, another dollar. <laughs> Have yourself a wonderful Thursday. Too. I'll try to see if I can sneak out and get them glasses. If I get a break, yeah. Maybe we're not doing it, getting us home late and all that BS. Alright. All right. Well, I love you. I love you too. Have yourself a wonderful day. You too, Alright, love. See you bye. Dang, the old boy's double building the Rikers today. Well, all I've got to, uh, only thing on my schedule today is those, uh, or the next two days, is uh, building those BMWs. So, uh, taking advantage of that, I'm gonna go replace these for the new ones. Man, I hope they got this right this time. This will give you guys a chance to see what it looks like out here in the daylight. As I'm walking, shaking the camera. <laughs> immediately, immediately, much better. They're little, they're taller, taller frames, so they come down lower. The reading area is wider. So far, so good. But yeah, I, initially, I couldn't be any, oh, there's that go-kart track the last time we were here I was telling you about. A little woman and I should come out here and check this thing out. It's been a while since I've raced around a go-kart track. It might be kind of fun. Looks like a really nice day for a ride. It's like 45, 46 degrees. I ain't wearing a coat. It's got my uh, Climb 2.0 on and my work shirt. That's it. Nice out here. Nice 2020 R1250 GS. She's in kind of her staging area to be set up in PDI. It always amazes me how much stuff you have to take off before you can put it back together because it's just accessories and stuff but um one of the cool things about the bmws is they bag everything and you get these nice little collection of parts bags with every motorcycle that's really cool but yeah most of this stuff stuff has to come off before you can put it on that's just always been the way with with the bmws that's just the way they do it Nothing like the smell of a brand new motorcycle. Oh, he's so pleasing. We ain't gonna lose that fuel light because I didn't have uh, much fuel down here at my disposal. More than enough for the test ride. Ah, oh, yeah. The black on these things is nice. It's a very, very neutral non look at me look at me color you know so this is a low chassis with the uh with the low seat I forget what that code is 5a1 or something a1 the low seat option you definitely you sit down in it so all the the non low 
low suspension models all come with the seat you know underneath where you can make the the front and rear adjustments they're both set high both front and rear are set on high <laughs> then they get the big thick seat on it and all the low chassis has a super low seat low suspension and the seat is set on low so she's like super low right out of the gate <laughs> so once again like i said at the beginning thank you guys a million for uh for all the merry christmases and and uh the other day on the 15 vlog number 1500 you guys are so dead nice i just love you guys you get a sunny day and the car wash is running <laughs> Which makes for the little lake crossing I gotta avoid over here. Ooh, look, it's gonna be easy today. Now, when I was pulling this thing out of the crate, I was uh, laying some of the the throwaway pieces of the crate. I set them aside, and then I kind of, when I stack the crate pieces up, I have a way of throwing the little pieces in there. Then I threw it on top of this Yamaha crate that's sitting there. I think it's a Yamaha ATV or something. And uh, it lands on, on I go, ah oh, man, I threw it right in the water that's settling in some plastic. It goes ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it wasn't, well, it was water underneath, but she was froze up. Let's take a little loop to the yogurt place here. We haven't done this in a minute or two. The old summertime parking lot test rides. There's a standard. The limited. There ain't no standard. That limited's pretty cool too. SR5. Which one's the base model? Of the forerunners. TRD off road. What do you think? Should we take a uh, parking lot photo or something here? Let's at least get off and walk around it. Wow, that suspension must be set. She's like, boing, boing. Road auto. Yeah. But the suspension is so different on these low chassis. I never remember where where I like them. That it feels good to me. <laughs> That's a pretty son of a gun. See, I like that. I like that kind of muted color. Man, if I was to get a GS, I would, I think I would get the GS in the low chassis. Because it just, I don't know, for some reason, a GS and low suspension looks good. A GSA, I don't know, that thing just looks awkward. It looks confused or something, I don't know. <laughs> Wonderful. The black wheels with the silver motor and swing arm and bevel gear and all that stuff that actually looks really good the one i thought was really cool is that that gals uh, the eight the gshp with the touratech uh, engine and and bodyguards that were on there and those tkc 80s that thing just looked like a hooligan bike and then the with the uh, low chassis and stuff is just so manageable you're not going to be able to go real fast with it because you know your suspension is going to be limited you probably go anywhere you'd ever want to go I would imagine but then I'd probably ride it for a while and I, I just like the way the GSA is just so complacent the way the suspension works then I'd probably uh, get mad I went for a low chassis but I mean getting on and off it's so easy the bike there's nothing threatening about the bike you know it's it's weight and being super tall but I it doesn't really like the GSA I don't even I literally don't even think about it anymore I just ride them if I get in some weird technical tight thing trying to turn around or stuff like that then I go tack gum this tall thing out you know I'll cuss at it a little bit and give it a little piece of your mind you know but 
yeah I think a GS and low chassis with all the fancy uh, I'd get that tour tech kit BMW doesn't make one that has the uh, body or frame guards or whatever they call it that comes up the sides like the GSA does they have engine guards but not the ones that come up like the GSA and you can't put the GSA's engine guards on a GS because it mounts into some framework that this bike doesn't have that's kind of a cool look all that darkness on there doesn't it makes that TFT really pop holy moly it feels colder than 46 degrees out here man I was all nice and comfortable earlier So I hope everybody had a had a happy Christmas. We did. I think all the kids, everybody, everybody's in too too good of a mood not to have had a wonderful Christmas. We'll go up here and pester my kid for a half a second. He's up there. I seen him just pull the last Riker off of the crate and run upstairs with it. Old Mount Hood. She's a glowing back there, real pretty like. he leave for the day he must be gone uh, I'm just missing him BAM oh haven't heard anything on that uh he's he's wanting to talk to me I'll, I'll be right back He wasn't flagging me. Ooh, it's all rallies, too. He doesn't have any information on the Indian. He was flagging me down. He was, he was, he thought I was trying to go through and go up to the showroom. He was telling me, hold on. He jumped in that side-by-side -side and moved it forward. I don't know where my kid is. Maybe he's bailed out for the day. That little scoundrel. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this thing. I like that. All right, thanks for coming along for a ride on a 2020 R1250GS. Low chassis. That low seat, man, that thing is low. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Check out them end of the day skies. Yeah, that's nice. Why? It feels cold out here. It feels like it's got a bite to it. My hands are full. I can't look to what the temperature is. Well, little woman. Oh, look at that. We done called ourselves a green light. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. You just hold on to that thought. Ah, we got somebody coming at us. Oh, ooh, that's bright lights. Bright light, bright light. <laughs> anyway, we're heading home. What do you think of that? Rolling, rolling, rolling. You are, I just don't even know if I even see you there. I can't see you on the screen. Anyway, good day. Yeah. Let's head for the day. Hacienda. Sounds good. All right. So we pulled up to the post office because something's here. What's going on? Did somebody not, not put the park brake on or something? Something's funky going on here. I wonder if somebody left that thing. I'm just wondering if it didn't just roll out there like that. Is anybody in it? No, nobody's there. I think that thing rolled off. It didn't have the park brake on or something. Well, number one, thanks Gus from Virginia. I was going to... Well, there's the police station right there. There's one of the police cars right there. I was just going to walk up. I was going to hear something revving. 
like crazy. And uh, so I look and I can see through the reflection of the mirrors, the truck's going like all over the place out here. I'm like, dear God, don't run into my Honda. And he goes flying by. It's a young kid with, you ever see them? They drive along in their vehicle with their hoodie on. They look like the Unabomber. You know how dangerous that is when you have no peripheral? But some kid just goes, all in butt up the road in that old truck. <laughs> Crazy stuff, even in a little small town. Well, hello there, YouTube. It is the eve of Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, for some reason, all I was even telling Kelly this morning, it just feels like Friday. And it's going to mess me up all day long. I'm thinking, oh, this weekend. Even after I told her that, you know, sometimes you just tell somebody, sometimes another, it like sucks it out of your head. Nope. No. But thinking it's Friday all day, I'm like, ah, it's almost time to go. Dang it, it's only Thursday. I got one more day. I hate that when you get that weird. Yeah, when you get that yeah. backwards. Yeah, like, woo woo, it's the weekend. Nope. Day to go. <laughs> but anyway, it's a good day. It's a fun day. It uh, felt colder than what it was out there. Yeah, it definitely felt colder. Than yeah, 46 it degrees. I don't, I don't know. It's weird how the humidity or whatever does something weird. It just feels colder. Because you hear everybody going, Oh, what's the temperature out here? I said, Believe it or not, it's 46. And they're like, No, it's not. And it, I think it was like 40 something earlier in the day, and I was walking around with just my. Uh, that little base layer thing on. I was going, yeah, it's nice out here. <laughs> but anyway, again, thank you guys for all the, I was flipping through the comments here uh, right quick before I left there. I had a couple minutes waiting for Kelly and like, man, they still keep coming. You guys are so daggum nice. They are very sweet. I guess we'll, we'll look at, look at, look at your, uh, your uh, box that you sent there and we'll go for now and not have time to do it tonight, but thanks in advance yes so Very kelly heard a big bang said the kid come running down threw something big and heavy in the truck and jumped jumped in and took off yeah he's going thinking crazy he must uh like thought it was in park or something nobody's gonna just park in the middle of the road yeah and just leave it sitting there running that was crazy i know that he didn't leave the truck like i think it rolled out it looked yeah. like there's a tire print where it came down <laughs> Sure, we stepped out and seen that thing sitting there. He's like, oh, crap. Yeah, that's probably why he was running and threw it in the back of yeah. the truck. That's funny. But anyway, on that, we're going to roll out. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Friday or Saturday. Thank you. All right. Tomorrow will be Friday. I yes, promise you. it is Friday. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the morning. See you in the morning. All right. Bye-bye now.